Hey, welcome back to part two of the unboxing review of Transformers War for Cybertron Siege WFC S7 Side Slide Autobot. So, where we last left off was right here W10 Photo Pulsar Proton Lance. Yeah. Strength. Is two four oh, oh my god, let me see this two four six seven seven for strength. Tartan is eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen for Tartan, and then uh, I guess distance if I'm reading that quickly because these soons. Oh, as you can tell, the muscle is strained. Taught it, I guess taught it, and then that little sound down there, I'm guessing it's going to be distance. Let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 for, you know, distance. This little fella right here is going to be called W5 Gyro Blaster. But this one makes a lot more sense. Gyro Blaster compared to Photo Pulsar Proton Lance. So it has a strength of 6. Taught in of 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, taught it 16 on the gyro blaster and then I guess in range is eleven on range yeah not that much on there and then of course you can see the fat parts of like these little ones, which are, you know, the uh, Target Masters. But they don't call them Target Masters. They call them, not Micro Masters, but Weapon Masters or something. They're Target Masters, okay? And you can just put it on here like that to kind of give it a little blast effect. Um, I'm not sure which way this goes on. I guess it could go on either way. It can, but they're saying that you want to have this little barrel over here go on to it like that and leave the longer part in the back. So you can kind of have that. Of course, you could take these and you could stick them on to various spots on here. There's a lot of them I know don't want to stay on, so you could have it like that. Uh, actually, this one doesn't want to stay on any of them. Hmm. Not really sure why. I'm going to kind of take one of the other ones off and then see if that would work. Yeah, you know, like that one works. Sort of. Actually, these don't want to work on him. Hmm. Quite odd. But, yeah. But before we convert him into his vehicle mode, let's take a good little fun here, Cod, the weaponizer, and weaponize him. So there is two ways that you can weaponize him with Cod over here. So let's go with the defensive loadout. So we take him, put him over there, take Cod, tear his body in half like that. Work him with the top here. We rotate his head around like that. Then we whip off his arms like that. 
turn him around and put his head down like that. Set that piece off to the side. That's up. Take the legs, pull the legs off just like that. Take the legs, fold them around, take the parts, put them in there like that. And then we combine this to his feet with this one going like this. This one on the other side going like that. So now he kind of has a step up shoes type of deal. We take this and we just kind of put it onto the shoulder with the little pet hole here. Uh, come on. Doesn't really want to go that good. Like that. Then we take I'm guessing this. It's about the little head down there. Take the arms. Just put them in like this. Take off the little guns. Put this onto the bat here. Like so. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, you're going to get it the best that I could get it to fit up on here. And they do say these little pads are supposed to go down. I would think that they would go up. And you could put the guns in the hand. And that's how it's going to look for defensive weaponized. Let's take all this stuff off. And get him into offensive so pretty much tear it down as is then let me try getting this bit together a bit so we're going to take the bottom unit here put the little pet out get the feet Actually, put the feet back. So let's put the feet. Keep them like this. Put out that little pad right there. Turn it around. Which doesn't make any sense of how they're telling me to do this stupid thing. Okay, so I'm guessing the feet are supposed to go this way. Which doesn't make any sense. What? So they have the hole there, but have the feet going together. What the hell are they talking about here? No, the feet go out. See, this is what I hate. Instructions that doesn't make any sense. Then they say just uh, turn it again. So I'm guessing I have no freaking idea what they're talking about. I'm guessing you're just supposed to put it into the bat. But the little pad does not want to stay in the bat. Hmm. 